advanced hydrogen. I'm doing something that uh, I don't think anybody else has done that I'm aware of. Um, I am making hydrogen. You know, of course I got it turned down real low right now. See the bubbles? Okay, got that. I'm making hydrogen at less than an amp. Okay, 0.3 amps, 0.5 amps out of a dry cell. See it? With uh, unified field coupling going through the middle. A water treatment system. Okay, what <laughs> what I'm putting into the uh, hydrogen cell is um, frequencies from an amplifier. I'm actually making hydrogen with an amplifier, and I've got it turned down real low. Actually, my production goes a lot higher. But check this out. Um, the voltage in, as you can see, is like 9 to 10 volts AC. The voltage out going into the cell is 17, 18 volts DC. So, look, I'm actually getting a voltage increase, but what happens is the amps drops, which, you know, that, that makes sense. So what I'm going to do is... I'm gonna, this, I got a bridge rectifier right there if you wonder what that is. Uh, I'm going to turn the amplifier up by reaching up underneath there and turn the gain knob. Watch the voltage. The voltage now coming out of the car amplifier is uh, 21 volts, 22 volts. The voltage on the back side of the bridge rectifier going through um, these uh, coils that I made. See them right here? is uh, 34 volts, okay? Now, and I'm putting in a square wave that's sweeping from a base of 10K. Okay, so here's my sweep. See it? Just a standard square wave sweeping out of a ProTech sweep function generator. Okay, I'm having a hard time focusing into this unit. So it's going from this into the amplifiers, one amplifier runs my uh, MRM modules, these black deals on here, see them? Okay, and the gauss is coming out of those. Right now isn't too bad. Uh, it should... Here's the gauss coming out of my MRM modules. 320 is the maximum milligauss coming from this amplifier. I have this wired so it's flipped over so it's out of phase, so every time um, the frequency hits these modules, the cell's off. And I'm just trying to do that right now. It's like 180 degrees out of phase. Okay, that's an experiment I'm doing. But uh, the amperage is right now at two amps. Okay, now get this. This is tap water in here, guys. There is no electrolyte in this at all. I did not put potassium hydroxide. I did not put baking soda. I didn't put anything in this water. This is straight tap water out of my garden hose at my house. Okay. Um, running through the uh, water treatment system first, then it goes into the cell, then it comes up like a standard dry cell, goes into a reservoir right here, and I have a, an extra part in the bottom back, down at the bottom right here, and what this does is it, uh, it's a sediment collector. I'm getting a lot of trash coming out of this tap water. But look at this, at two amps, this is my output, I'm running my cell off of a stereo amplifier and I'm getting hydrogen out of a dry cell. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, is I've got a transformer shell, and I've got copaco paper, and I've got uh, some different, I got, this is a 20, oh, I wanna say 22 or 24 gauge wire, and I'm gonna get another color. I'm going to make a transformer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create what's called a VIC, voltage intensifying circuit. And what will happen is, is that when this 20 volts AC goes into the voltage intensifier circuit, which this, was, this didn't work very well, it's not really doing what I want it to do, what should happen is exponentially this should increase by 200. So if I'm putting, let's say I'm putting 10 volts in AC, I should get 200 volts out of this in the cell, okay? So what I, what I wanna do is, and I did this the other day, I didn't make a video of it, I actually ran uh, 120 volts into this thing, pulsing it like this, 
and everything got real hot. You know, it wasn't a very good way to do it. But I was getting a lot of hydrogen out of this with no electrolyte. Okay, none, just the tap water. And I mean, this thing was was screaming, but it got real hot real quick. You know, I, mean, I don't think that's a good idea. So I'm sticking with DC. Now, guys, this is not brute force. Okay, this is resonance. Okay, I'm hitting this thing with frequency, 10k sweeping, at two amps. Okay, making hydrogen. See it? That's yeah, not a lot of production, but imagine what's going to happen when I hit this in with 200 volts resonance. Cool. All right. Just uh, like I said, just advanced hydrogen. Um, trying to do something different because brute force electrolysis is not what we want to do. What we want to do is we want to do resonance, and I'm proving right now that you can make a dry cell run on frequencies only. Okay, frequencies with, with uh, a very small voltage and very, very little current. No, I, I've never been able to run a dry cell on two amps of uh, current. That's insane. That's ridiculous. That's cool, isn't it? So I'm going to go ahead and turn it back down to like half an amp. Go over here to the amplifier. Turn it back down. Let's run this sucker down. Keep turning down, down, down. Look at that, point, point 0.3 to point 0.59 amps. And look, it's making hydrogen. This is nuts, dude. Look at that. Brown's gas coming out of the tube. Or no, maybe not. Maybe I'm lying to you. Oh, here it comes. There it goes. It's still coming out. A little bit here, a little bit there. See it? See the gas coming out? That is at not even half an amp. I can make hydrogen out of this thing. See, there it goes. See the gas moving? There you go. All right, advanced hydrogen. Um, stay tuned for more videos as I complete my uh, VIC circuit and my transformer, and we'll see if we can get this uh, dry cell to run on less than an amp. And uh, you know, that's my goal. I don't know. I just on off a of stereo. <laughs> so you can make hydrogen with a car stereo. I've just proved it.